Good morning and good Shabbos, everyone. This week's Torah portion has the story of the famous wrestling match. Jacob is on the way to meet his brother Esav after being away for 20 years, and a mysterious figure, which our rabbis say was an angel, wrestles with him all night. And at the end of the night, Jacob prevails over this mysterious figure, and the figure says, release me, let me go. And Jacob says to him, I will not release you, I will not let you go until you bless me. And at this point, the figure, which our rabbis say was the archangel of Esav that came to do harm with Jacob, says, what is your name? And he says, my name is Jacob. He says, well, your name shall no longer be Jacob. Your name shall be Israel, Yisroel, because you have wrestled with man and with the divine, with God. And until this very day, we are called the children of Israel. And we have the land of Israel because of this encounter in this week's Torah portion. And obviously, if we carry the name Israel, it obviously contains a very pivotal message for all of us until this very day. And one of the beautiful lessons and insights is that what Yaakov teaches us is that we all have struggles in life. We all face different challenges and hardships. Like Jacob, we also have in the dark of night our dark periods in life when we have to go through struggles. But before Yaakov leaves that encounter, he turns to that force that wrestled with him, that struggled with him all night and says, I will not let you go until you bestow a blessing on me. And what Jacob is teaching all of us is that when we go through hardships in life, we have to say, if I went through this challenge, if I went through this struggle, I have to take a blessing out of it. There has to be something good. There has to be a silver lining, as they say, something positive that will emerge as a result of this, something that I learned, something that I gained, so that this struggle should not be in vain. Indeed, in our generation, it was after the Holocaust that the Jewish people said, okay, never again, we're going to go to the land of Israel and re-establish our ancient homeland of Eretz Yisrael. Again, echoing the words of Israel, who emerges from the Jacob encounter and says, if I went through this horrible darkness, I must emerge with some blessing as a result. There's a story told about this couple who went on their honeymoon and they rented a cabin somewhere in the woods and they went to bed the first night and suddenly they hear banging and they hear this pecking and they look and they see there's a woodpecker pecking away and all night they can't sleep because they hear like this hammering sound of a woodpecker the next night of the honeymoon they go to bed once again the woodpecker is pecking away this happens five nights in a row and they were devastated they spent all this money planned this beautiful vacation and here they couldn't get much sleep and they were driving home from their honeymoon feeling like wow that was a it wasn't the greatest experience we had. That vacation really didn't work out too well. The wife turned to her husband and said, let's imagine that this was the perfect honeymoon, the dream honeymoon. What would it have looked like? And after discussing it for a while, the wife, whose name was Grace Lance, said to her husband, Walter Lance, who was a cartoonist by profession, Why don't we make a cartoon figure and a story about Woody the Woodpecker? And indeed, it was as a result of that vacation that Walter Lance created Woody the Woodpecker, which became really one of the most famous cartoon figures and brought so many wonderful opportunities for him throughout his career. And that's the lesson of When something happens not to our liking, something negative, we have to say, what is the blessing I can take from it? Have a wonderful Shabbos.